Boy, look at this. LDWMAC, you know the routine. Uh, forgive the background noise. Let's just get right into it. So Kat Zingano officially ducks this fade. Kat Zingano officially ducked the Chris Cyborg fade. Oh, she ducked this fade. Listen, I, I don't care what y'all tell me. See, I knew Kat was making too many damn excuses. And I'm going to give y'all a history check. I'm going to give you a Coach Shelton Harrison that never been no comparison history check. I'm going to give that to you. Okay, Kat Zingano, Big Dumb McCarthy, um, pretty much told Kat Zingano, hey, hey, you know, Big Dumb said, who do you want to call out next? I think she had a victory over Gabrielle Holloway. Big Dumb McCarthy said, listen, okay, microphone's yours. Who do you want to fight next? And everybody in their mama know that if Kat Zingano wanted that cyborg work, she'd have got that fade. Okay? She would have got the fade. She would have gotten that fade. Because we know that MMA works pretty much on if you call somebody out, and if you call them out emphatically, most MMA promoters, they're going to make the fight. Everybody know that this is an unwritten rule in MMA. We, we all know this. The fighters know this. But for some reason, Kat Zingano didn't know this? Kat Zingano didn't know? I mean, all of us over here, we know. Then Kat started making excuses, you know. Uh, well, you know, Chris don't want to be tested. Um, well, you know, yeah, yeah, Chris refused drug testing for this fight. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Chris Cyborg is the most heavily tested fighter, especially WMMA fighter on the planet. She's heavily tested. And guys, you can go to the USADA website, guys. You can go to the USADA website. You can see how many times a person been tested. I mean, the information is right there. So Chris Cyborg is refusing testing. I, I, don't, I don't get it. First of all, you look at Chris Cyborg, and everybody is still giving Chris Cyborg a bad rap for you know, her, her, her testing positive, what, 12 years ago. She tested positive 12 years ago. She since then, you know, she, she you know, paid her debt, okay? She served her suspension, okay? And she's been clean ever since. She served her suspension, and she's been clean every damn since. So, I don't understand. What, what, what's the big deal? I mean, of course, Chris, if you publicly said, and Chris Cyborg already said, you know, drug testing, no problem. She told Kat Zingano, Chris Cyborg told the world, I don't have a problem with drug testing. These are lies. Where did you get this from? Chris Cyborg came out and said, I don't have a problem with that. Chris said, Kat, you just don't want to fight me. And guys, I'm really beginning to believe that Kat Zingano is ducking the face. I mean, here we, now, you know, shout out to my girl Pam Bam Source, because you know I'm going to be pulling for Pam in this fight. Y'all know I'm going to be pulling for Pam. I'm a fan of Pam. I like Pam. And Pam Bam Sorison will be, you know, <laughs> will be in there. Okay? Pam Bam Sorison going to be up in there. And I hope that she whoop up on Kat's ass. Okay? I, I don't know. At this fight, to me, though, I do favor Kat Zingano in this fight. I like Pam Sorison, but I favor Kat Zingano. And I got a 60-40 in favor of Kat. Just because I think Kat, you know, grappling and Kat's wrestling is, is on a whole nother level. You know, Pam Bam is good. Her jiu-jitsu is good. Pam has very good jiu-jitsu. But um, I just think when Cat hits certain positions and when Cat can get you on the ground, Cat's very strong. And so, you know, Pam trying to get out of those positions, it'll be interesting. But then again, Pam Bam might be strong because Cat Zingano really hadn't been, she hadn't been a featherweight. She was a featherweight back in the past, then she dropped down to bantamweight. And a Cat has been at bantamweight for a lot of her career. And when she got to Bellator, she really, you know, just started going back up to featherweight. Now, when she was in the UFC, she fought Megan Anderson at a featherweight. But really, Kat was a little bit more comfortable at 135. So, you know, I think Pam Bam has a, I think Pam may be a little bit stronger. She's a bigger woman than Kat Zingano. But overall, I just think Kat, to me, is a better technician than Pam Sorsen. But you know what? It's MMA, okay? Anything can happen. I was the only one that gave Juliana Pena a chance to beat Amanda Nunes. So, I mean, y'all know. <laughs> if you have a chance to win, you probably can win. Um, but Kat Zingano, she ducked his fade. And y'all know how we do over here. Anybody duck a fade, they got to get work. Anybody duck a fade, they got to get work. Now, this is a clear cut. Okay, this is a clear cut. She had every opportunity under God's hot sun to create this fight. Okay, they were trying to push. Chris and her team, they were pushing for this fight. They were pushing for the fight. They wanted Kat to take the fight. Kat Zingano refused to fight, okay? It is what it is. And then she talking about with steroids, you know? I mean, this is crazy. 
I mean, honestly, guys, I'd be shocked if a fighter wasn't using steroids. Now, you know, Chris Cyborg and people like Cyborg and Holly Holm, they've been tested. They've been tested a whole hell of a lot. They get tested all the time, and they keep coming up clean. But, you know, man, they, they, they have undetectable. They have undetectable steroids. They got undetectable things that people are using to actually enhance themselves. They have those things, okay? But, you know, this is MMA. I mean, you're getting brutalized. You're getting kicked. You're getting slammed. You're getting your joints, you know, sub uh, sublexed. Okay, you're getting a lot of different types of damages. It, it wouldn't shock me if somebody used steroids. And to be honest, if somebody, you know, get busted for steroids, I'm not really going all crazy and say, ooh, they got busted for steroids. Ooh, no, I'm not doing that. Um, now, if it's, if it's people, you know, trying to drag Chris Cyborg, and I'm like, okay, well, this person over here got popped. So, I mean, how come y'all ain't saying nothing about that? You know, now I may use it in that reference, but really and honestly, when somebody get popped for steroids, it don't surprise me. Hell, I would have more of them. I think more of them ought to get popped. Like, seriously, just tell the truth. The majority of these people, they're using steroids probably. Okay, I don't doubt that. But to say that Chris Cyborg don't want to fight you because of steroids, it's, just, it's stupid. Okay, it's stupid. And you don't even have a way to prove it. You can't prove that the girl don't want to get tested. You can't prove she don't want to get tested. I mean, Kat, then why didn't you say, well, okay, um, for me to sign this contract, I'll sign it, but I have to have a proof that Chris Cyborg got tested. I guarantee you Chris Cyborg will provide that proof. You know, there, there are things that you can work into the contract. And this Scott Coker, this ain't Dana White. This is damn Scott Coker. This ain't no damn Dana. You know Scott Coker will try to work something out to get these fights going. Scott will work something out. Scott is workable. Scott Coker is workable as hell. And he will try to do whatever he got to do to get these damn fights. So, I, I mean, don't tell me. Don't tell me that, you know, these fights can't be made. You can't put stipulations in a Bellator contract. Sure you can. Sure you can. And Scott Coker will probably be more than happy to do it to get this fight going. Okay, this is a bigger fight in Bellator. You know, now, you know, we can say Kat Zingano passed her prime. We can say Chris Cyborg definitely is going toward that direction. But it'll still be a good fight. Okay? So what's the hold up? I mean, I honestly don't think Kat wants this fight. I don't think she wants it. I, I, you know, and I've been saying it for a long time. See, Kat been sitting back, and Kat been talking a lot of sh about Cyborg. I'm talking about sitting back. When she was sitting back in the UFC when Chris was in Bellator, Kat was talking about, yeah, I want to fight Cyborg. Yeah, I want to fight Cyborg. Oh, uh, okay, here go your chance. Kat was talking about, yeah, before I retire, you know, I want to fight Chris Cyborg. Oh, I'm not afraid of Chris Cyborg. As a matter of fact, when Chris was in the UFC, Kat was talking about, you know, I want to fight Chris. Yeah, I want to fight Chris. Yeah, and you know, they were trying to pull Chris out of catchweight too to do it, okay? I, I hope y'all didn't forget that. They were trying to get Chris to come down to a catchweight. And see, at that time, Chris Cyborg wasn't gonna come down to 140 pounds anymore in any more catchweight. She was done with that. Chris was like, if I can't fight, if I can't fight any full-bledged uh, uh, featherweights, then I don't want to fight. I mean, Kat, let's just tell the truth. I mean, yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. You didn't agree to fight Chris at 145. The fight wasn't gonna happen. I mean, let, let's stop. Let's stop the BS. Let's stop all the stuff that we're that we talking about over here. And let's really talk about truth and facts. Let's talk about truth and facts. Okay, you wanted no parts of Chris when you were in the UFC. You wanted no parts of Chris back in Strike Force. And yes, Kat, you were one of the people that ducked Chris Cyborg during the Strike Force era. But you sat back along with Julia Budd. And all of y'all talked a gang of sh. Y'all, y'all talked it. Y'all talked a gang of sh about Chris and these steroids. And oh, we ain't gonna fight her till she get herself this and this. And then, you know, now, well, she clean. She clean. Now what? I mean, what's your excuse now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You want to talk about stuff that she did in the past? Want to talk about she want to take a test when, when the woman already said, I'll take a test? I mean, just tell it. Tell the truth. You don't want to take Chris Apple fight. You know Chris will end your career. And see what Kat trying to do? Kat trying to get as many of these Bellator bags as she can before she have to retire. Because she know when she get up on Cyborg and she know when Chris Cyborg take her foot and break it off in Kat's ass, that's it, it's over. Ain't no more bags. Chris Cyborg is gonna retire Kat Zingano, and Kat Zingano knows this.